Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for SAT. We have been solving SAT grammar questions out of this book here, the official SAT study guide. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we're about to solve are the ones that you will find on page number 599. Please turn to it. Page 599 and today is our lesson number 16. There are 11 of these questions. There are 11 of these questions on a scale of 1 through 11. The first five that you see there on the first on the page there, those are all easy questions. Let's see what we can do here. Number one. Number one, of course, on a scale of 1 through 11, 1 through 11 is very simple and very straightforward. This is what it says. It says, in a recent year, in a recent year, more tourists from the U.S. visited museums in Great Britain than Canada. The problem with the sentence here, the way it is written, is that we're comparing the way it's written here. We're comparing museums in one country. The museums in one country are being compared to another country. We cannot go around comparing museums of one country to another country. We have to compare the museums in one country to the museums in the other country. So all we have to do here is to insert the word in. More tourists from the U.S. visited museum in Great Britain than in, than in Canada. That's it. Just insert the word in and we are done. And that's answer choice E. Answer choice E. Let's go to the next one, number two. Number two, it says C. C is acquiring D. It manufactures school's uniform. Instead of saying it manufactures school uniform, C is acquiring D. It should say a manufacturer of school uniform. So we know now that, that this D that they're talking about is a manufacturer of school uniform. Your answer should be covered at this point. I forgot to remind you in the beginning. Always keep your answer choices covered. In these questions, in these type of questions, you must never look at the answer choices until you know what it is that you're looking for. If you watch the first 15 days, you will know that that's what I always remind you. So now that we have fixed it, lift your hand now, and we're going to pick one answer choice that comes closest to it. We're looking for something that says a manufacturer of school uniform. Let's see what we can do here. B says which manufacturers. There we go, that's pretty close. B says which manufacturers which is very close to what we said, a manufacturer of. C says manufacturing. That's not what we said. We did not say manufacturing. Uh, D, D, and D says it is manufacturing. No, that's even worse. And E for the manufacturing of. No, the answer is B. We said a manufacturer of a school uniform. Instead of a manufacturers, they have which manufactures school uniform, which is even better. The answer is B. Go on to the next column, number three. The campus newspaper does not print. The campus newspaper does not print as much news as does as does my hometown. Again, the same exact problem as the, as, the, as the problem that we came across in number one. Here, we're comparing campus newspaper. This is a newspaper. We're comparing it to the hometown. It doesn't work that way. We have to compare newspaper to newspaper. So the simplest way to fix this thing is simply say, make it clear here that we're talking about the hometown's newspaper. Campus newspaper does not print as much news as does my hometown newspaper. That's it. There you go. You can't just leave it as hometown, it has to say hometown newspaper. And the answer choice that comes closest to it is, now we are ready to look at the answer choices. You go through all the answer choices, as does my, as does my hometown newspaper. And that's answer choice B. C says, compared to my hometown newspaper, like my hometown newspaper, like the one in my hometown newspaper, they're all nonsensical. They're all, they're all nonsensical. The one that comes closest is B. B 
D and number four. During the during the liver dispute, during the liver dispute, barrels of potatoes were emptied across the highway and they thereby blocked it to all traffic. All of this is underlined. As we can see, it's a very awkward sentence. We understand what they're trying to say here, but it's not written very well. It's a very awkward sentence. Again, do not look at the answer choices. If you look at the answer choices, you're going to end up wasting a lot of time having to read all the answer choices and find the one that comes closest to uh, what you might think is the right answer. Don't do that. Fix the sentence yourself first, and then it'll be very easy to see what we're looking for. So let's do that. Potatoes were emptied across, this, across the highway. How about, how about potatoes were emptied, ac emptied across the highway? Potatoes were emptied across the highway. Get rid of, get rid of and they, thereby blocking, blocking, not block, blocking, blocking all traffic. How about that? That's it. Potatoes, potatoes were emptied across the highway. Potatoes were emptied across the highway, blocking, ing, blocking all traffic. That's it. Or thereby blocking all traffic. Let's leave the word thereby. Thereby. You could say thereby blocking all traffic or which block, uh, uh, which blocked all traffic. Thereby blocking all traffic is good enough. Let's see what we can find. Find the one that comes closest to it. B says, and therefore blocking it to all traffic. No, we did not say therefore. We says, even, even this part, if you want to keep it, you can keep it, or you can simply say blocking all traffic. B is not it. C says, by which all traffic was therefore blocked. No, that's even worse. D says, and therefore this had all traffic blocked. That's not it. Thereby, Blocking all traffic. There you go. Thereby blocking all traffic. The answer is E. Answer is E. Potatoes were emptied across the highway, which blocked all traffic, or thereby blocking all traffic. Answer is E. Last one, number five. Having thought through the problem, having thought through the Having thought the problem through with some care, having thought the problem through with some care, that the committee did not understand our solution. Frustrated the chairperson extremely. This whole, all of this is underlined, and you can see why it's underlined because it's a bloody awkward way of saying what they're trying to say, which is the fact that having thought the problem through with some care, the chairperson. The chairperson was frustrated by the fact that the committee did not understand our solution. That's what we're looking for here. The chairperson was frustrated or extremely frustrated if you like. 
chairperson was extremely frustrated by the fact that the committee did not understand our solution. We are ready to look at the answer choices now. We are going to lift our hand now. We are going to go through all the five answer choices and find the one that comes closest to what we said here. Having thought through the problem with some care, having thought through the problem, having thought the problem through, having thought the problem through with some care, the chairperson was extremely frustrated by the fact that the committee did not understand her solution. Let's see what we can do. B says the chairperson's extreme frustration resulted from no that's not that's not how we put it. The chairperson's frustration at the committee is failing to understand no. We find something that comes closest to this thing. The chairperson was extremely frustrated by the committee's failure to understand her solution. There you go. That comes very close to it. Because the way they, way they wrote it, the way they, they, they phrased it in D is actually better than what people put we have on the blackboard. Instead of saying by the fact, instead of saying by the fact that the committee did not understand, it says the other person was extremely frustrated by committee's failure, which is even more concise by the committee's failure. By the committee's failure to understand her solution. D is fine. Let's look at E. So let's see if E is, e is something better. The committee's the committee's failing to understand her solution was an extreme frustration. No, no, this is this is too awkward. The answer is D. The one that comes closest to what we have in the blackboard is D. But you must always literally write it. You must have your answers covered with one hand, have the pencil in the other hand. And write down, make the changes to it on, on that piece of paper on the exam, on the exam. Literally write it out, just like we did here, before you lift your answers, before you lift your hand. Okay? And then, then pick the one that comes closest. That's all. So these were the easy questions on a scale of 1 through 11. These were the first five. As you turn the page, on the next page, in the first column we have the medium questions, and in the second column we have number 9, 10, and 11. Those are hard questions. We'll do those tomorrow, okay? Bye now.